Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on introduction to B plus trees. In the previous video, we are already discussed about what is B tree, how we are performing insertion operation on B tree on different orders, how we are performing deletion operation on B tree with the different orders that we are discussed in the previous videos now in this video so what is a b plus tree and how we are uh, performing uh, insertion operation on b tree and what are the properties of uh, b plus tree that we are discussed in this uh, videos okay first one is uh, b plus tree is an extension to the b tree how can you say that in the case of B plus tree, insertion and deletion and search operations can be done very fastly when we are compared to the B tree. So because of that reason, hence we can say that B plus tree is an extension to B tree. But uh, B plus tree and B tree are are called as m-way search trees. m-way search tree means multi-way search trees. From the multi-way search trees, B tree and B plus trees are developed. Okay, next. So B plus tree is also known as balanced tree. How can you say that B plus tree is an balanced tree? Suppose we are considering uh, this is the B plus tree with the order 4. Okay, it is a balanced uh, tree. How can you say that? So here this is the root node and these are the leaf nodes. The distance from a root node to every leaf node, every leaf node have the same length. For example, so this is the root node 20 and this is the leaf node. What is the distance between them? First edge, second edge. That is 2. Next, so this is the leaf node, this is the root node. So what is the distance between them? Two edges. So the, what is the distance between this leaf node and root node? One edge, two edge, two. Okay, what is the distance between them? One edge, two edge. What is the distance between them? One edge, two edge. Okay. So B plus tree is a balanced, uh, balanced such tree because every path from root to the leaf have the same length. Hence, we can say that B plus tree is a balanced tree. Okay. Next one. In the case of B plus tree, all the leaf nodes are at the same level. Okay, so this is level 1 and this is level 2 and this is level 3. Level 1, level 2, level 3. Okay, all the leaf nodes are at the same level. Okay, so all the leaf nodes 1, 4, 7, 10, 17, 19, 20, 21, 25, 28, 31. All the leaf nodes are at the level 3. Okay, so in the case of B plus tree, all the leaf nodes are at the same level and all the leaf nodes are linked to each other. Okay, so this node is linked to this node, this node is linked to this node, this node is linked to this node, this node is linked to this node in the form of a singly linked list. So, because of that reason, so searching can be done very fastly and accurate. Because, and also, in the case of B plus tree, so all the records for our data elements are stored at the leaf nodes. Okay, all the leaf nodes are linked to each other in the form of a singly linked list. And hence, so the searching can be done very fastly and accurate. So this is the only advantage is that in B plus tree that is not there in B tree. Okay, so because of that reason, searching can be done fastly. Okay, next one. 
So in the case of B plus tree, there are two types of nodes are there. So that is leaf nodes and internal nodes. Leaf nodes means the nodes that does not have any children that are called as leaf nodes. So these are leaf nodes. So in these leaf nodes, so records or our data elements are stored. Okay. So whatever the given data elements, that data elements are also called as records that are stored only at the leaf nodes. Okay. Next, in, in the B plus tree, internal nodes. Internal nodes means the nodes that have children. Okay. This node have two children. This node have three children. This node have two children. So tw node 20, node 17, comma, uh, 7, node 25. These three are called as internal nodes. These internal nodes are also called as index nodes. Okay. These internal nodes contains the pointers or our addresses to the leaf nodes. So that points to the leaf nodes. So here, for example, here 25 is there. Here 25 is the data element. Its address is there at this point. Okay. So all the internal nodes can contain the pointers that points to the leaf nodes at the last level. Okay. Next one. Next one, in B plus tree, so keys are uh, repeated. Key elements are uh, repeated. So there is a redundancy in the key elements. Here, 25 is there. It is the internal nodes. In that internal nodes, key elements are stored. These are not data elements. These are key elements. Internal nodes can contain the keys or our pointers or our addresses that points to the leaf nodes. Okay, so whatever the elements are there in the internal nodes that, that have the redundancy. Because here 25 is there. Here is also 25 is there. Next, here 17 is there. Here also 17 is there. Here 20 is there. Here is also 20 is there. Here 7 is there. Here also 7 is there. Okay, so here this 7 is nothing but keys or our addresses or our pointers. Okay, that points to the data element at the leaf node. Okay, this is the address and this is the data. This is the address and this is the data. This is the address and this is the data. Okay, in the case of B plus tree, all the internal nodes can contain the keys or our addresses or our pointers that points to the data at the leaf nodes. Okay, leaf nodes can contain only the data elements or our records. These leaf nodes are linked to each other in the form of a single linked list. Hence, the searching can be done very fastly and accurate because all the data elements are there at the uh, last level that is at the leaf nodes. Okay, next one. In B plus tree has more width compared to height. Okay, so in the case of B plus tree, whenever we are performing insertion operations, width can be increased when compared to height. Height is reduced and width can be increased. But in the case of B tree, so height is increased and width is decreased. In the case of B plus tree, so width is increased when compared to height. Okay, next one. In B plus V, redundant keys can be present. We are already discussed. So these are the 7, 17, 25, 20 are the redundant keys. Here 7, 17, 20, 25 are the data elements. Okay. So these keys points to the uh, leaf nodes. Okay. Next one. In the B plus tree, so root node has at least two children. So here this is the root node. This root node has how many number of children? 
two children at least two children it may contain uh, more than two children also at most m children minimum two children and maximum m children okay in the case of b plus b root node has minimum two children and a maximum m children okay now and these are some properties of b plus b so here this is the b plus b of order m is equal to 4 okay so each node can have maximum of m children okay each and every node in the b plus b of order 4 can contain maximum of m children here m value is equal to 4 so each and every node can have maximum of 4 children this node have 2 children this node have 3 children this node have 2 children maximum 4 children minimum how many number of children are there m by 2 ceiling okay m by 2 ceiling here m value is equal to 4 4 by 2 4 by 2 is nothing but 2 2 ceiling is also 2 minimum how many number of children are there for each and every node 4 by 2 that is 2 so this node have minimum 2 children this node have 2 children this node have 3 children minimum 2 children maximum m children that is 4 children this node contain 3 children no problem because minimum 2 children maximum 4 children okay next one so each node contains a maximum of m minus 1 number of keys okay how many number of keys are there for each and every node m minus 1 number of keys here m is equal to 4 4 minus 1 that is 3 keys okay this node contain how many number of key elements 1 this node 1 this node 2 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 this node 3 okay so maximum each and every node can contain key elements 3 here this node contain maximum key elements so this node contain 2 this node contain 2 this node contains 2 2 2 1 1 but minimum so every node except root node contains a minimum of m by 2 minus 1 keys here m by 2 is ceiling so m value 4 4 by 2 that is 2 2 minus 1 that is 1 each and every node can have minimum of one key element maximum of three key elements in the case of b plus 3 of order m is equal to 4 so while you are performing insertion operation or deletion operation of any order in b plus 3 these four points keep in mind okay each and every node can contain maximum of m minus 1 key elements and a minimum of m by 2 ceiling minus 1 key elements each and every node can contain a maximum of m children and a minimum of m by 2 ceiling number of children so these are the four properties for uh, b plus 3 of order m is equal to 4 these are also properties okay these four properties keep in mind by performing insertion and deletion operation in the case of b plus 3 okay and uh, this is the node structure in b plus 3 so each and every node can contain maximum number of key elements m minus 1 so here k1 k2 km km minus 1 are key elements maximum number of key elements m minus 1 maximum of m minus 1 key elements so for each and every node how many maximum number of key elements are there? So 1 to m minus 1. Here starting with k1 and ending with k sub x m minus 1. Next. So how many maximum number of children? So m children. Each and every node can contain a maximum of m children. So here p1, p2, pm are pointers. Pointers are nothing but children. So how many number of children are there? m children who are m pointers are there for each and every node so each and every node in the b plus tree of order m it contain maximum of m minus 1 key elements 
and m pointers that means m children okay so this is p1 p2 pm are pointers or a children so k1 k2 k sub x m minus 1 are key elements here pointers are nothing for, for p1 this is the left pointer and this is the right pointer for p2 this is the left pointer and this is the right pointer for pm this is the left pointer and this is the right pointer for key element k1 this is the left pointer and this is the right pointer okay so p plus tree is also satisfies the uh, binary search tree properties all the elements in the left subtree this is the left subtree and this is the right subtree all the elements in the left subtree have the uh, values that are less than the root node all the elements in the right subtree have the values that are greater than the uh, root node okay so this uh, b plus tree is also satisfies the binary search tree property okay next one so one of the application of b plus tree is multi level indexing okay suppose this tree can be uh, the di uh, this tree can be directed in this way okay here first 20 is there okay here uh, 20 is there first and the next one here two nodes are there so 7 and 17 and here 25 is there Next, K is 1, 4 and this is 7, 10 and this is 17, 19 and this node contains so 20, 21 and this node uh, contains uh, 20, uh, 28 and 31. So this is called as multi-level indexing. Okay, so this is one indexing and this is multi-level indexing. So this is the application of B plus tree. One of the application of B plus tree is called as multi-level indexing. This is single level indexing and considering this one, this is multi-level indexing. Next one, uh, records or our data elements can be accessed in equal number of disk accesses. Okay, so that means all the records or data elements are stored at the leaf nodes. Okay, to access a record or a data element can take equal number of disk accesses. Okay, so for accessing 4, what is the time taken? So for accessing 10 also takes time, same time. For accessing 20 also takes same time. For accessing 28 is also same time. Because all the records for our data elements are stored at the leaf nodes in the case of B plus 3. So to access the data and data or our record from the leaf node. So to take same amount of time for every element at the leaf node. Okay, so that means for accessing every data element or a record from the leaf node in the B plus tree, it can take same access time for all the nodes. Okay, that is the advantage of B plus tree. Okay, to access 4, how much time taken? To access 9, how much time taken? To access 25, how much time taken? For access 31, how much time taken? For accessing all the elements, same time can be taken by the B plus tree because all the records or data elements are stored at the leaf nodes. Okay, so this is the introduction about the B plus tree. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel name. So Divella Srinivasa Rao.